Okay, next I'm going to refer to my schematic and start plugging some of these wires in, give them a home on this board. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> at this point I'm glad I have a bunch of very different colored cables because it's going to make it easier to trace down what, what's coming from where. Okay, I just got all the wires that we had previously installed uh, put in the right place. You can see it looks a lot better. Any wires that were that had extra length up here left over, like the button wires, um, had some. I just kind of folded it up and jammed it in the corner. <clears throat> and then next step is I'm going to take four short wires and hook up the ultrasonic sensor right here. The next thing is actually the uh, the buzzer. So let's take a look at that. Just peel off this junk here. Kind of protects it. And there's a long pin and a short pin. And this is uh, important. It's polarized. So the long one is uh, positive. I'll just put my thing on there. So I'll make that white. And the short one is negative. Um, black. Lack of color. Buzzer, long leg, is positive, it goes to D2, and that'll be my white, it goes over to D2, and in any case, when you get both wires installed, the buzzer is home, is kind of over here, you just kind of wad the wires up, and you just leave it stuck in this corner here, out of the way. Next the last thing is take your Arduino Nano, and Plug it in in this orientation with the USB facing outward. Make sure all the little pins line up and none of them get bent out of shape. Boom. We're in. And then this is uh, this 9 volt uh, cord hanging out the back, kind of tucks nicely in the back when you're not using it. When you want to plug it in, you do that guy. Um, next thing, the last piece is our cover. So the trick with the cover is you can just oops, it's it's backwards orientation compatible so it goes either direction. Um, It on there so it stays on on its own but if you want to get it off you have to squeeze this middle layer you have to squeeze it from the sides to make the little pins just like that it's these these four pins it makes them squeeze in and it releases it otherwise it'll be hard to get off but you can help it you kind of squeeze them to help it get in as well make sure all your wires are tucked in there nicely before you click it down and that's it. Next step will be plugging in our, our USB cord, plug it into our Nano, and the other end in our computer. And we'll go from there to program. Okay, I'm going to very briefly show you how to load up the Arduino program onto your Simple Sumo robot. So right here I've got my computer and my robot and my USB cord plugged in. And the first thing first is to connect this micro USB right here. And then I just set Sumo upside down on the table so he doesn't take off. And then uh, the rest I will be doing on my screen. Okay, here on my screen, my uh, let's just assume I've already downloaded the program. I'll put a link to where you can get that code at the bottom of this video. So I open up my downloads folder and I'm looking at a notepad text document called Sumo. I'm going to right click and hit open with and you can open it with notepad or notepad plus plus which is a really cool program which can help uh, parse the lines out uh, and you can tell it what code you're writing in it. If you choose to use that you would put uh, C plus plus code for it to automatically do that but, but you don't have to do that so I just opened it in notepad and you can see the program here Zoom in a little bit more it's pretty long I'm just going to uh, hit Control A 
and control C. That's select all and copy. And then now, you go back to my desktop screen. I'm going to open up the Arduino software. Hit start and search for Arduino. There it is. And I'm going to place it in this blank sketch and then hit uh, upload. And since my uh, Arduino Nano has already been synced with this computer, it knows right what to do. And it just says uploading uh, and done uploading. But if you had the need to, you'd come up here to this tool toolbar you know, titled tools and go to board and select Arduino Nano with AT Mega 328 is the correct board for the Simple Sumo uh, kit robot. And then that's it. It's, so if you <clears throat> wanted to uh, troubleshoot the robot and see what it's doing, you could go up to the serial monitor and open that. And if I was, if I had it running right now, then you would see that it automatically populates with with information on the status of all its sensors and you can see you can use that to help you identify if it's you know if a sensor is sensing the way that you think it should but uh that's it that's really all you needed to do was upload it into the robot i can disconnect it at any time from the computer and it's good to go so i'm going to show you a, a, a little battle with that program <laughs>